Hi there. Welcome to Life in Plastic, a channel that celebrates doll collecting. If you like dolls, if you are a collector of dolls, or if you simply enjoy looking at dolls, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more doll content. My name is Jared and I'm primarily a Barbie collector, but I dabble in other doll lines as well. We are almost at the end of 2020. As you may know, 2020 marked the 20th anniversary of the Barbie fashion model collection, as well as the end of the series. BFMC represents two decades of exquisite fashion. The series drew inspiration from the style icons of the 1950s and the 1960s. The alluring designs are enhanced by an impressive attention to detail, from the gorgeous face painting to the very detailed embroidery and beadwork. BFMC is Barbie at her beautiful best. The man behind the incredible dolls is Robert Best. Prior to working for Mattel, Robert had designed for Donna Karan and Isaac Mizrahi. He is also known for his appearance on the television show Project Runway in 2006. Robert Best and Barbie are a match made in doll heaven. In this video, we are going to revisit some dolls from the series that is his stunning achievement, the crowning glory of Robert Best's tenure at Barbie. So behind me are some dolls and fashions that represent the first decade of the Barbie fashion model collection. Of course, we should start from the very beginning with Delphine. The Barbie fashion model collection launched with Delphine, a doll made of silkstone, which has the look and feel of porcelain. Delphine wears a taffeta gown recalling the heyday of Dior and Balenciaga. The strapless gown is in the signature BFMC blue, a recurrent color in the collection. The gown features a dramatic bow, a draped train, and delicate flower accents. Delphine also has a faux fur stole lined in pink satin. So Delphine was the first doll in the Barbie fashion model collection and she was launched in the year 2000. A fabulous beginning to a beautiful series. The next thing I want to show you is a fashion from the year 2001 and it's called Blush Becomes Her. So it is worn by a doll from 2015 called Fashionably Floral. This doll wears a retro mauve cocktail dress which features a poof skirt a slim bodice with off-the-shoulder sleeves and a bow at the waist. The dress is complemented by a satin and organza black hat that is reminiscent of the 1960s, a three-strand faux pearl necklace, long black gloves, pantyhose and Mary Jane heels, and a black clutch. Next up is a doll who is not wearing his original fashion. This is fashion insider Ken from 2003. This was the first time that Ken was featured in the Barbie fashion model collection. He is currently wearing a kimono that was made by Midori Mitchell, also known as Dolls Love Kimono on Instagram. But originally he had on a white t-shirt and blue and white gingham boxers. He was part of a gift set that included a black and white suit, a white long sleeved shirt, and a blue satin tie. He also came with a miniature press badge, a miniature magazine, sunglasses, an attache case, black shoes, and socks. Next up, we have a doll from the year 2004. She is called Joye. This was the first holiday doll from the BFMC. Barbie wears a dazzling gown perfect for the holidays. 
It is a fitted white strapless satin and organza gown with a dramatic detachable overskirt. Shimmery sequins and faux pearls adorn this show-stopping gown. A rhinestone tiara and drop earrings add to the festive mood. She has upswept strawberry blonde hair and dramatic makeup. Robert Best said of this doll, I don't want it to feel like a tree topper. Instead, I tried for cool restraint. And I think he did succeed in that endeavor. As you can see, she is very elegant. And then we have a doll from 2005 called Stolen Magic. She wears a dramatic gown of charcoal gray satin embellished with silvery embroidery and sequins. Faux chinchilla fur trims the hem. A pale blue satin stole warms her shoulders. Rhinestone earrings, a rhinestone tiara, and pale blue gloves create a strong style statement. Notice her dramatic smoky eye makeup and pale nude lip. And then we have an ensemble, a fashion pack from 2006, worn by a doll from 2003. This is High Stepping from 2006, worn by a model life from 2003. So High Stepping is one of my favorite BFMC fashions, believe it or not. Uh, I actually have another set of this that is still in the box, preserved. Uh, because I love this fashion so much. This chic equestrian ensemble includes off-white riding breeches, a show jacket, a hat, and riding boots. She has all the proper accoutrements. The outfit is properly tailored and smartly elegant. This fashion pack was inspired by Robert Best's visits to his sister in jolly old England. And I just love it so much. I love all the detail that went into this outfit. So inside the show jacket, she's actually wearing a nice little checked vest, which I really love. I love that detail. Up next, we have a dazzling doll from 2008. She is the showgirl. In the 10th anniversary BFMC book, Robert Best said of this doll, the showgirl deserves her own book. Her costume is a feathery creation of satin, sequins, and beading. This is one of those dolls that lives in the photography, said Robert. The breathtaking feathered ensemble includes a fabulous headdress and dangling earrings. She also wears fishnet stockings, pink long gloves, and heels with straps. She also came with a nice little bracelet, which I seem to have placed on another doll at the moment. I just can't figure out which one. Uh, but here she is in her almost complete glory. And then we have Stunning in the Spotlight from 2009. This doll commemorates the 50th anniversary of Barbie by looking to the famed solo in the spotlight fashion for inspiration. The silhouette of this dress pays homage to the original while giving it a modern twist in chiffon. There are black rhinestone embellishments on the dress. The doll also wears dramatic dangling earrings, long black gloves, and an eye-catching pink stole. And of course, she also came with a vintage style microphone on a stand. Up next, luxury meets loungewear in Palm Beach Coral from 2010. This high society chic doll wears a coral top and matching wide leg pants underneath a flowing cream colored coat dress with coral colored beading atop a coral print. Her elaborate earrings and ponytail with braided details complete this sophisticated look. So an honorable mention is another doll in this series. Uh, the Palm Beach series was really cute, I think. I love Palm Beach Breeze, who wears a kaleidoscopic, brilliant caftan. I mean, just look at how beautiful this doll is. And look, at that. 
Okay, she's wearing pants and a nice top underneath this coat dress, which is so beautiful. I love, love, love this beadwork right here. So beautiful. Okay, and finally we get to the Tribute doll from 2010. This doll was made to celebrate 10 years of collaboration between the master and his muse. Tribute wears a strapless taffeta gown in the signature BFMC blue, which is lavishly embellished with golden embroidery as well as pink iridescent and silvery sequins. She recalls Delphine, but also she pointed the way to the future of the collection. She is wearing spectacular dangling earrings, refined long gloves, and heels that match the blue of her gown. I am clearly a huge fan of the Barbie fashion model collection and it saddens me to say goodbye to this glamorous and exciting series. Of course, I have yet to add a few dolls to my BFMC collection, so I'm looking forward to tracking these dolls down. First on my wish list is the beautifully understated bride, Maria Therese from 2002. Second on my wish list is Lady of the Manor from 2006. The prototype of Lady of the Manor was recently auctioned off in this year's virtual Barbie convention, and she went for thousands of dollars. Third on my wish list is The Stewardess from 2006, and fourth on my wish list is The Nurse, who is also from 2006, from the Career series. Fifth on my wish list is either Capuchin or Chatain from 2003. They are both so, so gorgeous. Also worth noting are the Barbie fashion model collection accessories that were produced in the first decade. There's the wardrobe carrying case from 2003 and the vanity from 2004. I'm very pleased to say that I have both. The wardrobe carrying case is painted in ivory and accented with a brass plaque inscribed with Barbie fashion model collection. It is lined with blue and white striped paper and can hold two dolls. There are six drawers and a hanging rod. It is a beautiful and cherished item in my collection. The vanity set is distinctively French provincial and reminiscent of the Louis XV Rococo revival period. It has golden accents, delicate curves, and formal styling. A pair of frosted lamps hang atop the tri-framed golden-edged foam mirror. The bench features a light blue pillow seat. The set came with a variety of bottles and miniature beauty items. This vanity set is definitely my favorite diorama piece in my collection. This concludes my retrospective of the first decade of the Barbie fashion model collection. I hope you enjoyed revisiting the pieces from BFMC with me. If you did, please hit that like button and also please remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful new year. I hope 2021 is a much better year for everyone and I'll see you in 2021. And in case you were wondering about my beautiful t-shirt, this was created by Totally Blondie.